My name is Frida Freenit. The last time I thought about how to make a scarf, and now I want to teach you uh, things, small things that you can do using yarn leftovers. After knitting a scarf, maybe you have a leftover like this, or this one, or these others. And uh, instead of throwing them away, they can be useful. You can use them to make air clips like this one, and uh, this one that I have in my head. So uh, you get your pair of beauty needles. And then the yarn that you're intending to use. I want to use this one. So the first step is you cast on. Casting on is usually making the first step towards knitting. You make a loop this way. And then you insert the needle. Uh, that way. That is the first uh, switch. Then you hand. This time we'll cast on differently. Like that. Uh, you just need, uh, these are six stitches, they are enough for what you want to do. Uh, then you need this way. Knitting uh, is wrapping the yarn on the needle and then pulling it backwards. That way. Wrap the yarn, then you pull backwards. Wrap the yarn and pull backwards. Just need something small like this because we are not making something that is very big. So after just these are just four rows. I hand some stitches and this is how you hand the stitch this way and then you wrap instead of pulling out. We have handed one stitch. And as I begin another row, I need to add this way. You wrap back ones like that. I want to add two more so that I can have ten. Start end with the six stitches, and I want to have ten stitches, just ten. So we will continue knitting. And because uh, we are not intending to have something that is very big, those are enough uh, stitches for my work. So at this step, I need to start casting off. And uh, to get what you want, we will cast off gradually. To cast off, you basically need two stitches together as you begin uh, the first row, like that. We are reducing the number of stitches gradually so that what we are knitting can also get its shape. Okay. You need two stitches together like that. Okay. We are reducing the number of stitches gradually. You can see now we are left with three stitches and we will cast off fully. Knit two together like that. We are left with two. That is the last step towards knitting that side. You know, knit them together. Like that, we are left with one stitch. You completely cast off that way. Then you separate the yarn. That way, use a scissors, pair of scissors. Then you pull so that it is uh, firm. You make it firm by pulling it. So, this is what we have. We have the first thing. 
okay so we are going to knit the second side this is what we have after we have this we need to pick uh stitches for the second side this way we pick stitches from here your kidney pick stitches mm -hmm. and this yeah you can see what you've done and then this is where we were beginning we need to uh, attach this one to the other part of the arm And the stitches as you are doing you wrap them and pull backwards that way mm -hmm. you want another one you want to add uh, so that you can have 10 stitches just 10 stitches yeah that way you repeat let's see what we have one two three four five six seven eight nine one more You can subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you can learn this and more things. Free it. So we already have 10, so we need to knit a few more rows. To be precise, you need, you need 8 more rows after you have 10. Just 8 rows. Then you start casting off. That's the second row. That way. You separate the arm like that, using a pair of scissors. Then you pull so that it can be firm. You can see. Then you can trim. The ends now you can trim your inner side, you trim the ends that way, that way, you trim the end. You have this, so this uh, is what you have. So you then pick uh, a needle, an ordinary needle, this one. And I uh, put this uh, with the yarn on it. We shape it. We have this. We want to attach this pin to it so that this is the pin that will be used to hold it on the head. So you use a, a ordinary needle to have this one put here. So you need this one here. This one is basically to help uh, you attach it to the head.
So I'm through. I trim this one. And uh, you can see here is my hair clip. You can see. And uh, so here is the other hair clip that you've just made. This can be ideal gift, you can gift someone. You're free to subscribe to our YouTube channel. I'm free it. Thank you for listening.